right, hey everyone, this is Ashfire383, and this is my another video of my sketchbook drawings for the week. So I'm really excited. So let's go from back to where we left off. All right. It's near the end of the sketchbook, so let's go. All right. So about here. So this is a drawing that I made with markers. Then me and my friend. Another sketch that I didn't finish. A blind worded girl. She looks like um, Eleven from Stranger Things, but I haven't watched Stranger Things, but it looks pretty cool. Then this is a campfire. This is where some people are with the campfire, and then the tents, the forest, some people in canoeing. Yeah, you know, just really cool. Then here is a drawing that I made with three highlighters. I really love the way that it turned out with the circles. Whale, and they kind of get thinner over time. I didn't know that while drawing, so yeah. This is one of my favorite sketches. This is Hinata with basketball because I was watching an inspirational video with uh, about Kobe Bryant. So this was basketball, so backgrounds, and then haiku, best school ever. And then this is a book. This is a book that my friend was reading, and I really should read it. It's called. Dress coded by Carrie Firestone. Sounds cool. Then this is a girl over here, and then she has a bag and a Delta new ring because I watched Legally Blonde to you with my mom last week. I watched the first one about a month ago, and it's nice. Then this is an aesthetic looking girl. Then I love her um, curly hair. Then this is an orange shirt. There's a lot of safety rules, science. So I drew this during science. And then lastly, this is a girl that I used uh, to draw. Yeah, the marker that I used to draw was Stadler. And then I used it to draw her. I really like the way that she looks. Then this is a girl doing a peace sign. And then there's Kaya. Oh, Kaya from Genshin Impact. And after that, I only have one, two, three, four more pages of my sketchbook left. So by the time... I post the next video. This sketchbook will probably be done. So, next, before I do my sketch pad, well, before I show my sketch pad, this is a drawing that I've been working on. And whoo, it is a tiger. Whoa! All right. So, this is a go tiger. So it says it right here. Then, it's going to be a tiger that I'm working on. Let's move it over here. Yep. And then. Um, I'm going to paint it with some acrylic paints that I bought from Five and Below. And I got the wood panel from Dollar Tree for $3. And then this is Mod Podge. I bought it for $5.25 at Walmart. So it is pretty expensive. So use it willingly. <laughs> then I'm going to draw a mountain in the back over here and do some decorations on the border. So yes, this is what I'm working on. And then before I show you my sketch pad again, this is some material that I have. This is a pom-pom pen that I bought at Dollar Tree. It's really cute and it's so fluffy. I love it. Oh, it's so fluffy and I love it. So yes, this is the pom-pom from Dollar Tree. These are some blue bracelets that I made during summer. Oh, oh. <laughs> one second. These are some blue bracelets that I did during the summer. Over here, this is the bracelet and then another bracelet that I did different like pattern designs but I love it then over here I have some Stadler 10 set twin tip markers and then these are this is part of the six set of the pastel Tombos and I have some of the Crayola markers uh, from the 64 pack so yes that goes over here and now back to the sketch pad the last part okay this is the premium sketch pad with Fluttershine Rainbow Dash in the cover with sticker that my friend gave. Oh, this is the introduction for the last one. All right, so let me move this here. And let's see where I left off. All right, I left off right here. So as you see, I added a sketch over here. Then I do Shuichi Saihara because I think September 7th was his birthday. So my friend told me and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. This is the whole Jojo Bizarre Adventure plot because there's six protagonists in the series. Uh, my friend was helping me explain it. So thank you. I really appreciate it. And then this is a girl. And then over here, we're picture day, September 15th. 
I really like the way that I did her hair, her earrings, and like overall her face. Like it looks so nice. Then I drew some cottage core elves. I really like the way that the ears turned out. And the long braid is so pretty. Then this is a theater kid with classic cliche beret. Then some striped sleeves and the theater kid shirt. Classic. And then here is a TikTok uh, reference that I did for um, characters. I like the way that it looks. Really colorful and simple. Then my friends did not know Roman numerals. So I'm like, oh, all right, I'll help you. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and a hundred. Two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, and a thousand. 2,000 and 3,000. So yeah, that's up to how much I learned in Roman numerals. And my friends thank me after that. They're like, thank you. And I'm like, no problem. So then this is a drawing that I did during art class. This is some roses. I really like the way that I did, that I did these, these looks. They look really nice. And I think that's it from the back of the page. And then lastly, this is my Mickey Mouse drawing that I did during art class. And I remember I was drawing this with my friends and then I went and looked at theirs and they were so pretty. I love them. So if you friends are watching my video, well, you know, your Mickey Mouse drawing was amazing and we will never forget. So yes, that's it and have a good day. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and check out this video. Thank you.